uh, Chad Marshall and O'Neill Fisher out here today. Is that anything, or are they just doing inside work? They are day of game decisions. We we would take either one of them back if they were able to. So we're doing everything humanly possible to get them on the field, but you know. Do you have any details on their specific injuries? O'Neill's is a little hamstring strain, and Chad is a sore back. O'Neill's is part of the previous hamstring strain. Yeah. Coach, you're never, you're never one to make excuses about anything, you know, not having guys available. But is it is there a little bit something that you haven't been able to really put out? What might be a, a first choice eleven so far this season? I'm not going to make any excuses, but yeah, we're we're running a little. Thin. The whole uh, concept of a team is next man forward, right? And so, you know, Jordy was getting some reps today. Uh, you know, Wingo get some reps. Uh, Brad is out here getting closer to his goal, so we will have options. Uh, but right now, you know, right back is an issue. And, you know, luckily we have, you know, Tony, Gustav, you know, Roman was doing more. He had some high velocity distance today. So, you know, we got a pool of center backs that we can rely on. But yeah, it would be nice to have a little more consistent lineup to run out for more than just a game here and then you change it a game there for sure. Speaking of Roman, is he healthy enough to make the trip to Los Angeles? We'll decide that tomorrow. He again is a game time decision. He was on a, on a two week protocol. Um, you know, same like the Dallas injury in, in the playoffs last year, and Zach stepped in, and you know, same type of deal. Whenever he's ready, he'll he'll play. You, you spoke after the Vancouver game about uh, having more discussions concerning Will Bruin. Uh, how, how have those discussions progressed this week, and what what do they entail? Well, he will probably see a little bit more playing time. Um, obviously, things are always fluid in our sport. Um, you know, but Will has worked hard. He's been a good team guy, and you like to reward guys like that uh, for good performances. So we'll we'll see what happens, but I'm sure he'll get a few more minutes. Is he intention to be at the beginning of a game or, or off the bench? That I'll let you know tomorrow. We've seen Eric Gober out here the past couple days. Is he fit enough to travel? He is getting really close. I have to just triple check to make sure he's fully 100% medically cleared. And if he is, yeah, love to have him back too. It's another guy we kind of forget about sometimes, but you know, played some good minutes for us last year. What kind of role do you expect him to play when he is able to come back? Well, he would have to come and fight his way into the team. It's been a little bit longer process for him because of his off-season surgery, so. He's, uh, he's up for a fight. Aaron's got the right mentality. You've hit the woodwork, I think, eight times already this year. Not snake bit, but uh, some of those go in. Obviously, they change games, but you just shake your head sometimes. That's a pretty good, big number early on. Jimmy Gabriel always used to say that it all evens out at the end of the year. So if we're a little unlucky now, maybe late in the year, we'll turn our fortunes around. Is the trouble in front of goal, is that more about attitude and hunger or is it about execution? I would say right now it's the execution. I think we put ourselves, again, watching the last game uh, against Vancouver, we put ourselves in some good spots. You know, they, they, you have to give the other team some credit at the times. They had, I think, five clearances. Some of those clearances were like goal line clearances. Uh, so, give them some credit for sacrificing their bodies to block some shots. But yeah, I think it's more execution than mentality. I mean, Clint loves to score goals. You know, Nico loves to score goals. Jordy loves to score goals. I mean, they all love to score. So when we talk about giving Will Bruin more playing time, how much do you have to weigh his skills, what he does, put the ball in the net with, with your desire for, for a possession-based Will can still play possession. It's not like he's, you know, he's one-dimensional. I mean, Will does his fair share of good things. Every every player has his strengths and weaknesses. Um, you know, you want, you want to talk about desire. I mean, okay, so Will's desire in and around the 18, putting himself in spots where you might get in, you know, running in front of a goalkeeper who's charging out full steam. I think yeah, your, your point is valid there. I think Will kind of checks that box. 
So I, I guess I was thinking more of the guys he might have to replace in, in the possession game if, if you were to. Put well, him hopefully, on if we, like a Harry Ship, yeah, so. if we, if we if we balance the team properly, then we would you know continue to possess teams, out possess teams. Um, but then again, every every game is different, and there's a ton of stats that you guys can pull up that you know teams that have 68 percent possession they lose two to one, or you know teams that only have 38 possession they end up winning two to one. How do you slice that? Vancouver had what, am I right 38 percent possession something like that. So every game is a little different. It seems like that ninth position takes out a lot of our players, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of other work that a player has the to do. Nine. Yeah, playing lone up top. Uh, how do you think Jordan has come about on playing that new role up there by himself? Jordan? Yeah. He did it last year on his own. I mean, he's he, he's a strong kid. You know, he backed into Waston a couple times, you know, threw his body in there on some headers. So I think he's fine. We'll do the same. They're, they're young and aggressive. You feel uh, being MLS champs at some point wears off for the opposition, or do they still gun 10, 12, 15 games into the season of, hey, these are the reigning guys, and we're going to give it an, another level? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, God, I would hope so, but I'm not so sure. I think, you know, teams get up for... Uh, different teams based on a bunch of different things. Is there a buddy on the other team and, you know, is there a guy they hate on the other team? What time of year it is? You know, is it a midweek game? I, you know, there's lots of different reasons why, but, you know, we have been a successful team for many years and I think we kind of carry that target with us at times. So, uh, it's, yeah, it's gonna, I'm going to think about that question this afternoon and try and give you a better answer tomorrow. Is LA one of those teams that you guys get up for? Oh yeah. I think it's a un, it's a it's a it's a little it's a rivalry that should have a little bit more notoriety to it. Because if you if you think about the beginning of our franchise, right? No 09. Okay, you had Zig winning his coach in MLS versus Bruce. There was already that connection. We won a bunch of games. They won a bunch of games. I think it was Los Angeles, Seattle, RSL in that order of most games won since 09. You, you'd probably know that better than I, right? Am I close? You've got it, yeah. I've got it. So, I mean, it's an it's a, it's a understated rivalry, I think. I mean, they won a bunch of titles. We knocked them out in 15, right, in the playout game first time where we knocked them out of the playoffs they had beaten us in the Western Conference final in 14 when we had a really good chance of winning a treble I think there's a lot of a lot of new history to make that rivalry a very interesting one do you look at LA any different uh, they don't have those iconic figures like Bruce and Keane and Donovan uh, no they're still a very good team Kurt and Olfo is a good coach we, we respect them how do you uh, try to contain a player like Alessandrini and maybe prevent him from getting those open spaces and creating habit? Well, Jovan will be up for it. Christian will be up for it. Ozzy will be up for it. We'll see. There. Obviously, Gio likes to play in those spaces. I mean, it'll be, a, it'll be an entertaining soccer game for sure.